Hey friends, Miss Lindsay here with another fun art project. Check this out. As you could guess, we are learning about space this week. So I have made this cool splatter art planet and universe picture. Time for you to have some fun too. If you have your supplies ready, let's begin. Let's start with this black piece of paper. Now, this is a fun technique we're going to use to get our paint onto our onto our paper. So it's gonna be a little messy. A good place to do this would, might be outside or at a table that's fully covered with a protective covering so you don't splatter paint everywhere. Get a good good sized uh, paintbrush here and you're gonna want a cup of clean water, your cleaning rag or washcloth. We're gonna need scissors, glue stick, and maybe even a cool solar system book for some inspiration. All right, let's begin. First, we're gonna take our paintbrush and find our white paint. Now, it's okay if our paintbrush is a little wet because that helps the paint splatter. So after you have your wet paintbrush, go ahead and find the color white. Do you see it on here? That's right, here's the white paint. Get a little bit on there. And then we're going to use our pointer finger to help us. You're going to get a little messy. Are you ready? Touch your fingertip to the paintbrush and we're going to do a flicking motion, a backwards flicking motion. Are you ready? Let's see how it turns out. Flick, wow, flick, flick. You wanna get this flicking motion all over your black paper. These white spots are all of the constellations and stars in the universe. How fun. Gonna get a little more white paint on there. Remember, this will be a little easier if your paintbrush is a little bit wet when you start. All over your black paper. Okay, now we're gonna let this dry and move on to the next part. You can use your damp washcloth to wipe your finger off. All right, we're gonna set this aside while it dries. Check out our cool constellations there. It looks just like a night sky. Time to add some planets. So, your parent could help you trace different size circles onto a white sheet of paper. And then this part is your job. You're going to use your handy scissors, thumb in the small hole, fingers in the larger hole, thumb towards the sky, and you're going to cut out along the traced lines. Here we go. Open, shut, open, shut. Don't forget to use that helper hand to help you hold your paper. Turn it as you go. Your hand muscles are getting strong while you cut. You're going to be ready for kindergarten in no time with all this cutting practice. There's my first circle. I'm going to cut out one more just to show you guys an example. Open, shut, open, shut. This is how we cut, cut, cut. Planets are round. That's why we've made these into circles. Alrighty. Now, to help eliminate some of the mess, I went ahead and I got a little cake sheet here, and I a cake pan, and I'm gonna put my circle in there so it catches all of my splatter instead of getting everywhere. All right, let's see. I'm going to rinse off the white from my paintbrush and pick a color. Hmm, I want this one to look like planet Earth. So I am going to use green and blue. Here's my blue, oh, with a wet paintbrush. Dip, 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 I have two different color blues. Dip, dip, dip. Look at that. All right, here we go. Remember, finger and flick. Oh, it's fun, fun, fun to get messy with art. Sounds like the kids outside would like this project too. Wow, check it out. We've got some blue splatter there. I'm gonna do a little more blue and then we're going to move on to green. This blue signifies the water on our earth. How cool. The water makes up a large portion of our planet. 
Wow, look how that blue is coming out. How fun. All right, time to rinse off my finger and my paintbrush. We're gonna make some land on our planet. Here's the green coming in. Green, I got a lot on there. Let's see how it comes out. The kids are having a lot of fun outside today. Wow, look at how the green's coming out. It's okay if you get big blobs on there. That's part of the fun. Sometimes if you get some big wet drips on there, you can hold it up. This one's not going to work because it's not that wet. But if this was a wet drip, it would drip down your planet and give it cool streaks. All right, we're going to set that one aside and move on to our next planet. Great job, friends. All right, here's a big planet. I think I might make this one maybe red. Now you can do single colors or you can mix colors, whatever you'd like. Oh, I got a little bit of blue in this one. Let's do the red planet. Mars, maybe. Wow, check that out. Red is coming out very good. I love it. You know what? I think this planet needs more than just red. Let's add some fun colors in. Let's mix it up. Oh, I have a cool gray color here. I wonder what that would look like. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, here's my gray. Splash, splash, flick, flick. Wow, this is coming out so cool, you guys. And it is fun to make a mess with art. Wow. I'm going to wipe my finger off. Check it out. We have made two cool splatter planets. How fun. All right, I'm going to move my pan aside. Now, these are still a little bit wet. So I'm going to show you with my dry planet what we do next. You're going to pull your black sheet of paper back out. Here's a dry planet that I have. I'll show you an example with this one. We're going to flip our planet over, get our handy glue stick, and go to town with your glue. Go right in a circle. Wow. Our universe is going to look awesome. Press that on. Pat, pat, pat. Now these ones are a little tricky because they're still wet, but I do want to show you. This is a finished product here. And carefully, since it's wet, you want to let these dry. Miss Lindsay's jumping ahead a little bit. All right, push, push, push. Wow. Now, like I said, wait until these are dry because it makes a little mess when you're doing it with wet paint still. But here is an idea of what you guys have just created. Your very own universe. Wow. Look, there's planet Earth. A big orange planet, or a little orange planet, and a big red and gray planet. That looks pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys had fun, and I hope you enjoyed this fun art project. Can't wait to see your pictures of what you've created. Bye-bye for now.